Thank you, President Gaudino. My fellow graduates, faculty, staff, alumni, family, and friends, good morning. As you may have noticed, I am what many call a non-traditional student. <laughs> Graduating today at 50 years of age, I like to think of myself as a returning student, a continuing student, a time for a change student. You see, a few years ago, I was a victim of industry, a man with the short-sighted idea that my skills would serve me a lifetime. Like many folks entering middle age today, advancing technology had made me obsolete, or so I thought at the time. Seeking new purpose and with a deep desire to be productive, I decided to return to school, and here we are. My story is not unique. Indeed, many of you graduating with me today are time for a change students. And really, aren't we all here ready to affect change? Change in our lives, change in society, change in the world. And what a changing world it is. As we graduate, we are entering a new chapter in human history, in human development. While we film today's proceedings with our cell phones, that same technology is being used to film revolution in Egypt. While we treat to our friends to meet us after this ceremony, that same technology is being used to communicate atrocities in Libya. While I stand here today talking to you, my words are streamed online and made available to billions of people worldwide. I doubt that many are watching, but it is available nonetheless. It's available to my brother and his wife in Florida, available to my sister's family in Switzerland, available to all the friends and family members who cannot attend us here today. They attend us digitally, and to them, I say, welcome. While my parents saw the rise of the industrial age, we saw the rise of the digital age. And with these new technologies, this new, faster, more all-encompassing way of communicating, I believe we are now entering the rise of the global age. But world change does not come without challenge. As communications around the earth expand and new voices are heard, a global society appears. As more countries gain power through media, more cultures compete for attention. Instead of fearing this change, we must embrace it. New ideas bring new innovation. New thoughts bring new solutions. New cultures bring new beauty. It is America's strength, I think, to accept and integrate new ideas and customs, to create a more complete country. We revel in diversity. We welcome newness. We purchase variety. In this regard, we excel. A diversity of cultural mixes, a worldwide sea of styles and experiences guarantees that there will always be an infinite variety of ideas. The difference solidified in the rich nature of the human condition. A condition that we are all ready to contribute to. The easy part is over. That's right. School is easy compared to what awaits us. I know. Our challenges are many. Our economic future is uncertain. But do not despair. Do not get discouraged. Your journey is just beginning. Experience is next in a crucial part of your success. You may have to start near the bottom of the ladder, but that's OK. For our education allows us to climb that ladder and climb it you will. Don't be afraid to take some time off, either. I'm speaking now to you more traditional students, those of you who are half my age. Travel. See 
other countries, experience other cultures, enjoy what the world has to offer for a year, then get a job. Thank you.